Hi guys, this is Sadek from Drawbrain.com and in this video, we'll show you two methods to make theme icons for any app on Android. So with Android 12, Google launched the concept of theme icons, wherein it will automatically, all the app icons will automatically pick up the dominant color from the wallpaper and theme them accordingly. So as you could see, as of now, my wallpaper and the UI and UX of the OS is of brown yellowish color and hence the app icons have been themed according to that color itself. However, even after two OS updates later, there are quite a few apps which are not yet compatible with the theme icon concept or in other words, the developer of those apps have yet not implemented this scheme. So as you could see, there are quite a few popular apps such as Amazon Prime Video, Outlook, Snapchat, Netflix. All these apps are yet to be compatible with the theme icons. But fortunately, there exist a couple of handy workarounds using which you could force make these apps to have their theme icons and in this video we will show you how to do just that. There exist two methods. The first method is via non-root whereas the second me method is via root. The benefit of the non-root method is quite obvious that it does not require root but on the flip side you will have to make the theme icons for individual app which might take up some time. On the other hand if you talk about the root method then the benefit is that it will theme all the icons at one go but on the flip side you will have to root your phone and as you might be aware rooting comes with quite a few downsides such as the safety net and play integrity failing test so there, therefore I will show you both this method you may try out the one which is in sync with your requirement so on that note let's get started first off I'll show you how to make themed icons for any app using the non-root method so for that you will have to install the shortcut maker app from play store so let me do that. It will take a couple of seconds. So th this is the app. Tap on install and it will be installed onto your phone. And once that is done, simply tap on open and then tap on got it. Then go to the app section and from here choose the app of your choice regarding which you want to make the theme icons. So let me choose the Amazon Prime Video app. It should be just here. So this is the app. Now once you have made the selection, go to the icon tab and then go to the theme section and from here you could select the theme accordingly. So in my case, I guess this theme will look perfect because it's yellowish brown and it's in sync with the dark mode. Once you have made the selection, also make sure to lower or decrease the icon size to around 93% so that it is in sync with rest of the app size. So once that is done, hit the check mark at the top right and then tap on the shortcut button and it will make a shortcut. It will ask for the prompt. So tap on add to home screen. And with this, let me show you, we have made the shortcut and this is how it looks now. This was the original earlier shortcut and this is the new theme shortcut. So let's make one more and let me show you for the sake of reference. So let's now make one for the Netflix app. So let's choose it, go to the icon, then go to themed and you may make the desired selection. In my case, this might look perfect. Now once again, let's lower down the size to 93% and hit the check mark at the top right and then tap on the shortcut button and it will ask for the prompt. Tap on add to home screen and with this we have got the Netflix shortcut as well. So this is how it looks, the original one and the new themed one. So guys, this was the first method using which you could make the shortcuts or rather the themed icons on your Android phone. Let me now show you how that could be done using the root method. So regarding root, there exists two methods, either using the pixel launcher or the pixel expert. As of now, let's go with the pixel expert. So in this, first and foremost, you will have to root it from my magisk. Anyways, before that, let me first remove them and keep them in a separate tab. And then we will compare them with the root method. Do keep in mind that both of these apps are from the non-root method. At the end of the video, we will then do a comparison with the root method as well. Anyways, with that said, let's get started with the root method. So first off, make sure to root your phone via Magisk. I have made a separate guide on the same. You could refer to my guide and get the jo job done. Once you achieve root, you would have to install ls framework. So let me show you how that could be done. First and foremost, we have to root, which we have done already. So I also made a video regarding how to install ls framework. You could also refer to my video as well. Anyways, first off, you have to root your phone. So refer to this guide and root the phone. Once that is done, you will now have to enable Zygisk on the Magisk app. 
so launch the magisk app go to the settings menu from there enable the toggle next to zidisk it will ask you to do a restart we will do a restart after flashing a module and not now just to save some time anyways now go back and now we have to flash the ls force module so get it from the github link and make sure to download the zidisk version so get it from here and once you have got the module you will now flash it so go to the module section of magisk tap on install from storage and then select the ls post then tap on okay and the ls post will now be installed once that is done tap on reboot your phone will now restart and the ls post framework will be installed in the back end you will now have to install the app in the front end once that happens we could then move ahead and make the theme by icon using the root method and the module as well so the boot up will take up only a few more seconds let's just wait for that to happen and then we could move ahead with the next step so our phone is now booting to the os and it will take only a few more seconds once it's inside the os your first course of action is to verify if the module is up and running or not so launch the magic scap and first off verify that you should be getting yes next to zygisk as you could see in my case then go to modules and make sure that the zygisk ls post is enabled and running once that's well and good you will now have to flash the pixel expert module so get it from github this is the link get it from here and i am using an android 14 build so i will use the latest stable version from here so download the module from github once you have got the module you will have to flash it as well but before flashing the module let me tell you one more important thing so as of now although we have flashed ls post but it it has been installed in the back end as you could see from here in the front end we don't have any app to use ls post so now you have, what you have to do is open any file manager app then go inside the ls post the file so this is the ls post the file and within that you will see a file name manager.apk tap on that apk file and then you will get the install download section so tap on install and now the ls post app is installed onto our phone tap on open and then tap on okay and with this we could verify that the ls post is now up and running on our phone and we have got the app icon as well of ls post so let's now proceed ahead and flash the pixel expert module so get it from github once you have got the module let's now flash it via magisk so launch the magisk app go to modules tap on install from storage select the pixel expert and tap on open okay it will now flash the module once done tap on reboot and your phone will now reboot to the os do keep in mind that while we are flashing the module in some cases the boot up might take up some additional time frame this is completely normal and nothing to worry about it's just for the one time delay from subsequent time that will not happen so our phone is now booting up and the module should now be up and running as well we'll verify that so as soon as your phone boot up you might get a magic request from the pixel expert module so let me show you that as well so let's unlock our phone as you could see we have got a super user magic request from the app so just tap on grant if you haven't got any request not an issue what you have to do is first and foremost launch the ls post app and from there go to the module section and make sure that the pixel expert is enabled if it is not enabled then enable it from here and then you will have to restart your phone once again but if it's already enabled then you don't have to do a restart so once the module is enabled inside the ls post go ahead and now you will have to launch the pixel expert app so let's launch the app and you will now get a rom the root prompt if you haven't got earlier you will now get a root prompt moreover if you are currently on the beta build of android 13 or 14 you might get this warning message this is completely normal and nothing to worry about in my case currently i am on the latest android 14 beta build and that is why it's showing as incompatible that's not an issue so from the home screen you will have to go to the miscellaneous section and then you just have to enable the toggle next to auto generate missing theme icons once that is done you will now have to toggle the theme icon option from the home screen so all you have to do is do a long press then go to wallpaper and style and toggle off theme icons wait for a few seconds and then re enable 
themed icons and with this all the themes icon will now be enabled on our home screen so as you could see all of them have been enabled at one go we don't have to do it manually so this is the major benefit of this so let me do now a comparison so the above ones are from the root method whereas the below ones are from the non root methods so as you could see the above one which we have got via root is looks much more better than the lower one there are two major issues with the lower one i am talking about these two ones these are the lowest one which we have got via the non root method and these are the entire row which we have got via the root method so in the non root method the background is also light brown as compared to all the others where in we have got the dark brown likewise you will also get a shortcut arrow the shortcut arrow is part of the shortcut maker app so you will also get that arrow whereas in case of the root method there is no arrow as such and likewise it's in sync with the rest of the apps so the root method is much more better than the non root method but simply rooting the phone just for the sake of an app icon i will not recommend that because of the drawbacks of root but the choice is all yours you will now you could now place any apps on the home screen and you will get a root method so with that said if at any point in time you want to disable this changes then simply launch the pixel expert and turn off the toggle once that is done go to the wallpaper and style and from here you just have to turn off theme icons and then re enable theme icons and with this you could see we are back to the stock one the original ones and again whenever you want to enable it simply enable the toggle then go to simply here go here wallpaper and style and enable the toggle next to theme icon toggle it off toggle it on and with this you will be back with the theme icons in the root method as you could see from here so guys on that note i round up this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching